Hello, thank you for watching Japan News Reporter. My name is Joe Schumann, and this is the news. First up, we'll be talking about samurai swords. Three samurai swords were discovered about 77 years ago in Kasuga Taishi Shrine, hidden in the ceiling. No one at the shrine was aware that the three virtually priceless swords were hidden there. This year, the shrine had the swords cleaned and restored by living national treasure Koshu Honami. One of the swords is believed to be almost 1,000 years old, while the other two are thought to be between 7 and 800 years old. If you would like to take a look at one of these fantastic swords, you need to get to Nara Shrine before March 27th. And moving on to a different cultural treasure, Ikue Masudo, also known as actress Saya Takagi, is back in the news after appearing in court and pleading not guilty to marijuana possession charges. A man who was arrested with her, 58-year-old Shiganari Moriyama, has told the court that the marijuana belonged to him. I'm not sure how well this is going to go over, given that Takagi is a supporter of legalizing pot for med medical uses. In the past, she has ran in her local government election with medical marijuana as part of her campaign platform but she failed to get elected. She has also told the police that she has used marijuana for medical purposes approximately 10 times in the past year for menopause and for pain from a wisdom tooth she had removed about three years ago. And up next, this week sees three convenience stores robbed in Saitama Saitama police have been looking for a man, possibly two, between the ages of 20 and 40 for the robbery of two convenience stores located in the city of Ageo. The first store reportedly robbed at about 3 a.m. with the robber getting away with 43,000 yen, about Yomang Sansei yen and the second occurring about two hours later and 20 kilometers away. The suspect in this robbery made away with 63,000 yen, about Lokumang Sansei yen. And the third convenience store robber, robbery took place in Kitamoto City. The robber held a knife to the store clerk and demanded money. The robber made off with about 30,000 yen or san, san man yen and he is believed to be between the ages of 40 and 60 years old and up next This story is about a French woman in her 20s on a working holiday here in Japan The young French woman was found unconscious bleeding from the head in a parking lot in Kanazawa City she had injuries to the back of her head and wounds on her back that appeared to have been caused from being dragged along the ground. All of her personal effects were found at the scene. The woman was taken to the hospital where she regained consciousness. The police stated that they are treating this as a result of foul play. No kidding. What else could it have been? And in other foul play news, a nine-year-old Yokosuka Kanagawa girl was hit in the back of the head with a blunt object as she walked home from school around 3.45 p.m. on January 23rd. The attacker fled the scene after hitting the elementary school student. Luckily, the girl was able to run home where her parents took her to the hospital. The girl required several stitches from the injury to the back of her head. Although being injured and frightened, the young girl was able to describe her unknown attacker to the police. I am now happy to say that the piece of human garbage who did this was arrested by police on Friday, January 27th with the help of security cameras. The attacker, 
24-year-old Chikahiro Tadaki was tracked down and arrested. The attacker lives near the area where the attack took place. This was a win for the little girl and for security cameras. What do you think? Do the benefits of security cameras outweigh the need for privacy? Let me know in the comments below. And now let's talk about the pervier side of Japanese crime. Chiba Prefectural Police have arrested 28-year-old Masataka Takahashi for sneaking into the women's restroom and taking voyeur videos of women while using the restroom at a shrine. Takahashi was busted by a woman after he put his mobile phone under the stall divider to take a tosatsu or voyeur video on January 24th. Apparently, the woman told her friend, who caught and held Masataka until the police arrived. The police arrested him for trespassing in the women's restroom and pending charges for the voyeur videos. And now on to some bad second career choice news. Former professional sumo wrestler Takahashi Tomiyama was arrested with five others for swindling money from victims to the amount of about 10 million yen. That's around 87,000 US dollars. The group seems to have targeted elderly people for their scam. The group would call their victims and demand that they pay for registration fees or unpaid fees for video downloads on the internet. This is not a shining moment for sumo wrestling, as Tomiyama had a 20-year wrestling career, where he wrestled under the name Wakai Nami. I guess there are not many fields you can find work as a washed-up sumo wrestler. And as things get a little more serious with some bad friend choices, a woman who shipped her friend's mutilated body in a crate to Tokyo and then fled to China has been arrested for illegal entry into China and now extradited back to Japan. Your Yuri Oishi, 32, is wanted for murder of her childhood friend Lika Okada, a 29-year-old nurse from Osaka. It is believed that Oishi killed Lika Okada in Osaka and shipped her body to Tokyo in a crate marked doll. After the body was discovered in Tokyo, police searched the home of, of Okada and discovered blood that matches her DNA. Oishi used her dead friend's credit card to pay for shipping to Tokyo and the locker where the body was found, May 21st, 2013. In this video taken in China, Oishi is just walking around like she isn't worried about a thing. She's a true sociopath. It makes you wonder what the person next to Oishi would say if she knew the person she was holding hands with had stabbed her friend more than 10 times and mutilated her body. I don't know about you, but if I were to find out something like that about a friend of mine, I would be freaked out. Well, that's it for this week's roundup of news. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back again next week where I hope to have better stories. This is just a peek into Japan. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be uploading more videos in the future. Thank you. Have a good day and goodbye.